One of the biggest differences that you're going to have, of course, is over taxes. Mitt Romney has made it very clear that he will extend the Bush tax cuts for all Americans, for those in the top income brackets as well as for those in the lower income brackets. He's um, promised to address the deficit much more forcefully than Barack Obama. Can he actually do it, though? He's talked about entitlement reforms. He's more or less signed on to the Ryan budget plan. But when it comes to entitlement reforms, anyone that gets elected to make the kind of big changes America needs to make to address its deficit, to really look at Medicare, to really look at Social Security, it's almost impossible to do that if you don't have the other party on your side. You cannot make the kinds of cuts that America is going to have to make without having bipartisan commitment to it. It would be political suicide to do so. So although you might have one candidate or another at the moment going out and promising to do a huge amount when it comes to deficit reduction, if they don't have the other party on board, it's hard for me to see how you can actually go ahead and do those kinds of things. Size of government, I do think that's something that will change under Mitt Romney. There's without doubt been an expansion in government under Barack Obama. Uh, some of it, I think, was the inevitable consequence of the 2008 crash and high unemployment. But it's also true that there's been a lot more regulation. We've, of course, seen um, the Environmental Protection Agency enforce much more regulation. Uh, under medical reform, we're going to have much more regulation. Financial reform, the Dodd-Frank bill, some of that is still to come. I think you'll see less regulation under Mitt Romney. He would bring in people that were more regulation-averse. He would try and repeal some of um, Dodd-Frank and some of Medicare. I think that's going to be tricky. Unless the Republicans win an overwhelming majority in the Senate, a filibuster-proof majority, I think it's going to be difficult for them actually to do huge changes when it comes to regulation um, or to rolling back Medicare. So out on the trail this week, you might think that the gap between Republicans and Democrats, between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, is enormous. I would take some of that with a pinch of salt. The system is constructed so that it's going to be actually pretty hard for whoever gets into office to make radical changes. The biggest change we'll see with Republicans is going to be on taxes. That's going to be the biggest difference between Democrats and Republicans. Otherwise, I think you're looking at a situation where I fear you've got kind of four more years of muddling through and stagnation on some of the very big things that Americans need to do just because you're not going to be able to operate. Um, one party or the other isn't going to be able to make huge radical changes.